Hi, how's it? My name is Black Sorfo, and we're back for more prehistoric planets, dinosaurs, and today's video is Velociraptor. Before we proceed, we let you know that we are not expert. We just share our own thoughts based on updated scientific research. And this video is for educative and informative purposes. Velociraptor means swift teeth is a dromaeosaurid that existed during Cretaceous period and it was discovered in Mongolia. Velociraptor became one of popular dinosaurs thanks to Michael Crichton, Jurassic Park novel, and the 1993 film by Steven Spielberg where we can see the portrait of Velociraptor. But that is not accurate. Jurassic Park's Velociraptor designed to be featherless and bigger than it should be. It looks close to Deinonychus, but with smart brain and well-adapted behavior made its carrier dinosaur after T-Rex. Velociraptor appears in two episodes in Prehistoric Planet. The first appear is in the Deserts episode when the Velociraptors were briefly introduced. The Velociraptors were taking risky opportunity where the Tarbosaurus were sleeping. Tarbosaurus is one of Velociraptor predator. Although the Velociraptor could outrun the Tarbosaurus due to their small size and agile. The second appearing is in the freshwater episode. Velociraptor returned and reintroduced more specific than the previous. They were coming to the cliffside to prey on small pterosaurs. There was three of them, two males and a female. I must say prehistoric planet's Velociraptor is very accurate from its design and behaviors. It focused on the base of the skeletal structure from the shape and size. It's all accurate to the skeleton itself. Velociraptor about the size of a turkey with a long tail. The adults measuring up to 2 meters long. Like many other dromaeosaurid, Velociraptor have sharp curved shaped sickle claw on each hind foot to restrain and tear their prey. Velociraptor now confirmed to have feathers. There is evidence in 2007 found quill knobs on the forearm bone indicate that the Velociraptor have feathers. Paleontologist Alan Turner says a lack of quill knobs does not necessarily mean that a dinosaur did not have feathers. Finding quill knobs on Velociraptor though means that it definitely had feathers. This is something we'd long suspected, but no one had been able to prove. Those knobs are where the feathers are connected. Although the Velociraptor are flightless predators, their feather school serve as body protection against collision with environment and calamities. Like many modern birds, baby birds that just learn to fly may fall to the ground, but their feathers would prevent them from injury. Velociraptor wings may help them to reduce air pressure when they jump off the height, so they will not hit the ground really hard. But those feathers also could be used for display and covering their nests. This fully feathered dinosaur would make like turkey but scarier, just like Professor Paul Barrett says. Most detailed is the color variation to determine the male and the female. The female has light gray color, while the male has reddish color, and it also explained that they were pack hunter. Not only a female or male, but they also led by a female. I like how they quietly hunt their prey. They step so slow to reduce the noise, but when they close to the prey, they move fast before it recognizes them. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question or something interesting from Velociraptor, if you like to share it, 
let me know that in the comment below and if you found this video very informative please like share and subscribe for more prehistoric planet video and i will see you next time auf wiedersehen